I look at literature and what it has to say about race because I'm interested in how our world is shaped by race. And literature can help us understand that in a really interesting way, in a fun way, I think. By multicultural literature, I mean works of literature that treat race and ethnicity in interesting and complicated ways that have a referential relationship to uh, the empirical world. When we look at those works, those works are often, but not always, written by those people who have been constituted as minority or subaltern subjects in a society like our own that is socially stratified along the lines of, say, race, uh, ethnicity, gender, sexuality. To some extent, the people who write what I call multicultural literature, often they are African American or Mexican American, but it's less, the identity of the author is less important to me than what the work itself is doing. So, I am lo so I'm looking at what the work itself is doing and, um, and using that to help define my, my corpus or my archive. I'm very interested in the dynamics of race and ethnicity. And um, I understand race and ethnicity as a dynamic system of social distinction. And it's one that we live with, and it shapes our worlds in very consequential ways. So I'm often looking at literature to see how any given work is commenting on it, uh, reflecting upon it, uh, figuring it, like in the metaphors. Literature is one of those cultural products that humans make to help them understand themselves. Mostly I read a lot. Um, and I read broadly within American literature because that's my field of study. But beyond that, I read broadly across the disciplines um, about race and ethnicity. I'm always looking, for instance, at the newspaper or at movies, not because I'm necessarily going to write about something involving race that comes up in the newspaper or something in a movie, but because it helps provide a context for understanding what I see happening in literature. And then I take notes and I start formulating um, you know, uh, an idea about my, what I might want to say about it that will help illuminate um, some of those myriad mechanisms by which race is done. Then is when I start the process of testing what I'm thinking with other people, maybe uh, presenting a version of this, an early version uh, at different talks. And, and I find that it's helpful often to present it more than once and uh, in different audiences because you get very different reactions from it. And then it becomes a, an argument as a whole, either in the form of an article, which I might send out to a journal, or in, more recently in the form of a book chapter that will go to make a, a, an integrated whole um, about uh, race in literature. I think sometimes people, when they're reading novels, they're not as conscious about the fact that the literature is, um, just by the virtue of the fact that they're reading it, is influencing their ideas about the way the world is. It is, in a sense, helping to build their schemas about, in this case, race. So that you read, you watch a movie or you read a, uh, a book or you, you know, see a TV show and that there are representations in it. And so part of what I'm doing in my work is helping people to be more critical readers of the cultural products that we humans create to help us understand ourselves. 
on one hand, a more critical, how to be a more critical um, uh, consumer of cultural products, and two, um, you know, what is race? Why is race? Why do we believe the stuff that we believe? Why do we behave the way we do? Why do we see some people as trustworthy and other people as not? Why do we, why are we attracted to some people and, uh, you know, shy away from others? So those are, that's what I want to get to. You can find the answers to these questions in literary works. Literature is one of the most sophisticated ways that people have to both create meaning and to explore uh, meaning.